Welcome back to Permaculture Retreat Center. In this video, we'll be showing you what we've been up to the last few months. We've had a lot of volunteers come and contribute to projects, so let's take a walk and show you what we've been doing. From painting to chicken tractory. Let's go back. Let's work together. To arm wrestling. Oh my God. To playing with kittens. To more cleaning. Hasta construir cosas. Running errands around the dump. And much, much more. So take it away, Don Simon. So we've been super focused on improving the landscaping, the aesthetics of the entrance and the utility and, and standard of the, of the Smurf house. So we've augmented the, the roof, we've made a, a Banu Pravado, private bathroom, and we're about to put ceramics on the outside floor. We've also done some stonework around uh, the pizza oven. So you want to have a look? Let's go. So the idea with the stones, we can make an instant garden here. We have an avocado tree in the middle and uh, we could have herbs that we need for the barbecue or aromatics also, lavender, sage, uh, rosemary, right close to the smokehouse. So this roof, I don't know if we have photos, but it used to just come to here and there was a post here and it sort of felt quite claustrophobic inside. So we've extended the roof out to where the maximum it can go, strengthen it, and remove this center post. It helps give us shade in the morning so we're not like in full sun when we're eating a later breakfast. And it's pretty good for a party. I had this really idea to make a blue camo wall here and I could picture it really well, but given that we want to do um, healing treatments and couples retreats in here, Jessica thinks that was too much masculine energy, so we've gone for the Miske Mountains. We've fully insulated the inside of this roof and put a, a curtain rail here, which has been attached to the roof, so we can put a, a bed or a double bed or have this closed off. As it has its own door, it could be a little uh, therapy room for massages and stuff. So that was a nice idea. Good morning, good morning, Vietnam. Vemos que acá falta un poquito, pues. llenamos. Ta, ahí está. Ahí está. Ahí está. Da, 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 da. A private bathroom <laughs> for the guests. Complete with its own solar hot water heater. I'll show you. We've been busy delivering our holistic living permaculture course and part of that we include lessons about our alternative technologies like the rocket stove, the Orno Solar solar oven, the water heater system and the last group got to install a new solar hot water system uh, learning from all of the lessons we learnt off the uh, other one. We should make another video about that because there's a lot. And thanks to a, a great supporter of ours, Harrison, we've uh, restarted the Rabbit House again, which has been on the list for over a year. So we hope to show the progress of that over the next six weeks. We've recovered from the mistake I made of selling all the main, all the big male ducks. We've now got some big ones and they're um, helping the females to have the motivation to put eggs. So we're eating duck eggs, which is delicious, especially hard boiled. About five or six weeks ago, we uh, 
put a tractor in here and, and sowed it with oats and string beans and broad beans to improve the soil. So it's coming up, it's coming up fine. Yeah, it's also been the, the time of year that we've had to clean the sekias, so that's ongoing work. Thanks to all the volunteers for the help with that. Uh, sekia is the trench for watering. So here's our broad beans. This would definitely make a, a list for survival crops. Let us know uh, in the comments if you'd like us to make one of those, because everyone else is. It makes a really nice, uh, you can dry, dry the bean, the seed, and uh, rehydrate that and make a really nice hummus out of it. It's got protein and it's bringing nitrogen to the soil, so it's a really nice crop for us. Uh, we covered all the trees that are sensitive to frost because it's right in the middle of winter now and uh, use the macaron from the side. Bit of a project. We also had to adjust the level of the of the swale here because it was flooding our well. So now the spillway is good and finally crossed that off the list. Thank you, Thomas. I guess our ginger and turmeric trial ready to test. Yeah, look at that. Nice. Mm. <laughs> this is ginger and I think we planted it about this time last year, maybe a little later. They say it could take like 10 to 12 months before it's ready to harvest. And I see some of it that is ready. It's the ones that are dried up. This is the one that we planted. It's just like a carcass. <laughs> you got some B12 in that. <laughs> so we're sort of lucky enough to have a Hungarian arm wrestling champion, the Hungarian arm wrestling Adonis uh, Gabor with us and I say sort of lucky because we've made an international standard arm wrestling table from the bar complete with rustic hand pegs and uh, rugby headgear we basically used stuff that we had here and, and yeah, the unlucky part was just that Gabor he broke like all of our arms what's this labour of love Gabor. Beautiful. We're Did you want a haircut? Building. <laughs> the, We're building the, an maybe, elbow. Maybe you wanted a haircut. <laughs> I think it's beautiful. Isn't it? Oh, yeah. No, look at it. Nice. Oh, it's a work of art. Look at that. That's how to make five small pieces of wood. <laughs> That's like a bigger piece of wood. Okay. Softly, softly. Ah. <laughs> so in professional arm wrestling, you always have to hold the peg because you need something to hold on to because the pressure comes from sideways. We don't really move the hand and the, and the arm compared to the body like this. We move them together. So the shoulder is leading and the body leans sideways and the the arm and the hand they just follow follow the motion watch out alone okay there <laughs> we go <laughs> There's always a bunch of little things, maintenance things and upgrade things like improving this area. Thank you, Flavio. You're welcome. Instead of turning over to our weed and prepare the ground under the big shade house, we've been just doing instant gardens and going through here and saves a lot of time and it's also uh, put so much fertility in the ground that this, it's just booming quickly and it'll continue to produce for three years we have a video on that actually we've all kind of charred and brassica and um, leafy greens and medicinal herbs in here we eat out of this garden every day 
garlic. Too many things to name. Yummy, yummy. Mm. It's winter, so we've had some hard frosts already, and that's why a lot of it's burnt. But the things that like the cold are loving it. You're not a man without a lemon. Mm -hmm. And we're continuing to save seeds from our uh, heirloom plants. So. Learned some painful lessons with the asparagus that we're going to grow them in rows with improved soil and keep them weed free. So we've got a bit of a project coming up to transplant these. So we're uh, Continuing with the chicken tractor on steroids system and this is going to be no-till thanks to their help so they're loving it As little as six weeks the chickens if we keep them in a, a closed in a space like this can take what was covered in grass and weeds manure it Eat the weed seeds scratch it all up and this one's ready to plant. So we've just moved them over there loving this system. And we've got a couple of uh, female turkeys to keep our males happy although Looks like the black one's really happy and the white one still wants to kill the black one. <laughs> and we uh, made a water filtration, reverse osmosis water filtration system using activated carbon, sand for the river stones, and we even put a UV light on it. And we've, it took us a bit longer than we thought. Everything always takes a bit longer than we thought, but the water's coming out super sweet and people's stomachs so have improved a lot since we've done it. So check out the video if you're interested. Uh, mother's milk. And we're always happy to have more. Cowbell! <laughs> more, uh, I gotta have more cowbell, baby! This is a traditional Hungarian uh, folkloric story kind of art. Thanks Lulu! And we've been crazy busy delivering our Holistic Living Permaculture course. I think it's our fifth class since we've launched it, which was about seven weeks ago. So we took what we believe are our core competencies and offered that as a Holistic Living course. You can see what those are here. And it's been a, a great success for us. Uh, and we'd love to be able to offer that online. So if you wouldn't mind, have a scan through and let us know which if any of these modules you're interested in. For example, I, I have 15 years experience with Chinese kinesiology, which you can use to identify allergies, write out to what's healthy for you or, or what's chemical. So we do that, uh, it's a key thing we use when we're doing shopping and, and uh, even out to what books we should read. And that's part of the course. Yeah. Also, we explain why the body needs to detox and certain programs, including the one we offer, for how to detox the entire body, make have a purge of the vesicular, the gallbladder, and decalcify the pineal gland. Along with other things that you've seen, the instant garden, the fertilizer, so much more. Have, have, a, have a look, please let us know uh, if there's anything you're interested in. All right, guys, that's all we have for this video. Let us know if you enjoyed it. Give us a thumbs up. Go visit our Patreon if you'd like to show some support. We're enjoying sharing our progress with you guys. See you in the next video here at Permaculture Retreat Center. Peace.